What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So I'm gonna check out 10 most popular WWE matches on YouTube. Now, WWE YouTube channel, they've been, you know, putting on like full matches and it's usually way after the actual match had originally taken place. They'll put the full match out for people to check out if you've never seen it or people to just to go down memory lane. And we're gonna check out some of the most popular WWE matches on their channel. And, uh, Maybe it's justified in why, you know, some of these matches uh, had a lot of views. So we're going to check this out. Go back down memory lane as well. Appreciate all the love and support. Let's get right into this one, man. Here's what you think is popular. It's not true. I do. Please watch my videos. But today, though, we are going to give the keys to somebody else because we are headed to you too. I mean, we're already on YouTube, but let's stop getting distracted. The point is, when you do go through WWE's YouTube channel, the most popular videos when it comes to matches are kind of mad. Here's the 10 most popular, according to the internet. Number 10, the 2018's <laughs> Men's Elimination Chamber. Smashing in with 143 million mm. views, the big draw here is a multi-person match. Just keep your eye on that for all our entries. You guys love this nonsense. Here it also means you wanted to see Roman Reigns beat Braun Strowman, The Miz, Elias, Finn Balor, John Cena, and Seth Rollins, meaning the big dog was going to WrestleMania to face Brock Lesnar. Mm. Of course he was. There was a period where that was the only match we were allowed to do. This was the time where Strowman wrecks everybody because he's super over before Brokeman stops him, hence all the boos. Fans yep. were already done with Reigns when management kept ignoring people, well, they got mad. I get it. It's not nice to be ignored. It's a long old watch to a 43 minutes, but I tell you, if you are a new viewer and you only know the tribal chief, this will be an absolute treat. Mm -hmm. It's like seeing somebody totally different. And if you're stupid, you'll probably believe that it was Roman Reigns' brother. But again, I love you. Number nine, the great Carl Lee versus Rey Mysterio. Really? Coming on the 12th of May 2006 SmackDown, this so far has racked up 150 million views. Well, it must be a classic then. Nope. Really? I guess the little large aspect just appeals to people. And of course, don't forget that in his native India, Kali is a mega star. I'm pretty sure that guy gets mobbed in the streets. Of course, this is just Ray getting squashed, although what else was going to happen here? <laughs> the great one wasn't going to take a 619 or a Hurricanrana. We may as well just get it sorted and get to the one. Poor Ray. Poor, poor Ray. <laughs> Two, three. It's only three minutes, which makes it prime YouTube viewing two. When JBL of all people wax Mysterio, allowing Carly to crush him like a bug, and it's done. So this is probably why Vince McMahon wanted to push this guy so much. He thought all of this was going to translate. And yes, he was absolutely massive. But here's a small post spoiler for you. It did not work. Number oh. eight, the world title battle royal. One year on from this too, on the 20th of July, 2007 SmackDown, we have to crown a new world champion. And wouldn't you know it, the great Carly won. He was in the thumbnail. This guy's a YouTube draw. It's yeah. got over 153 million views and has quite the field of wrestlers, including Mark Henry, Kane Batista, and Jimmy Wang Yang. <laughs> Jimmy Wang. Shannon Moore was also in this, which kind of sums up the roster at the time, and the great man didn't even hold the belt for that long. 60 days after this, he dropped it to Batista at Unforgiven. Uh -huh. Once again, though, the great Carly was our guy. People just loved him on YouTube. And I suppose that's another reason people did want to tune into this, because it is kind of rare to have a brand new world champion on a television show. But yeah, kind of feels to me like we could have picked a better option. But good for that guy. Hey, on the cool, Kali, bringing in them numbers for YouTuber. Huh? Guy, he made the best of what he had. But seven, The Undertaker versus Brock Lesnar. Mm, SummerSlam 2015, yeah. 154 million views, and there is a reason for it. Yes. The iconic. Chronic, yes. It got so popular, it became a meme. But after The Undertaker and Brock Lesnar had laid each other out, Brock still was a... This was a fun match. Watching this live, this was so fun. This was after the streak hit ended. In this moment, I will always remember when Brock stood... Not stood up, but he got up, and then The Undertaker got up, and then he's Brock started laughing and the Undertaker started laughing. That shit was so that was iconic. I don't that was that was so good, bro. This was such a fun match, bro. Sat up and laughed. Taker responded in kind. <laughs> and because wrestling is the best, it just worked. <laughs> Mark Calloway has also told a great story about this on his podcast, too, because he didn't really know what was going on. When Lesnar was running through things earlier in the day, he sort of half took it in. So when it did happen, he was slightly taken aback. Then decided, flub it, I'm going to join in anyway. That's because you show that instincts are important when it comes to sports entertainment. <laughs> because as the dead man said, if he had understood what Brock was going on about, he may have said, nope, 
And thank goodness he didn't. He yeah. never would have got that Frasier picture. It's worth um, I'm glad this was perfect. I'm glad he didn't really understand what was going on until it happened. And he started, oh my God. So good. I thought the whole thing too was the pair always had great chemistry with a typical ridiculous finish. It is so fun from the start to the end, however. And I suppose people are just using YouTube to rewatch this madness. But it's not like you can use the network or Peacock. That thing is a mess. Number six, Braun Strowman versus Bobby Lashley. So good work, world. You've done well here because you have made it clear that you love big men slapping man meat. Now we have played with the rules a little bit because it's not a one on one match per se. But back in June Damn, 2019, that many views on Raw, for Braun arm and Bobby wrestling went match? to the ring and they had an arm wrestling contest. 157 million people wanted to see this, and you damn right. It really wow. is the most ridiculous thing ever because a worked limb grapple just doesn't really make any sense. <laughs> Gotta tell you, more of this, please. It's just so silly, and they're so damn jacked. That I think the internet crazy. just enjoys this craziness too, because when Mark Henry and John Cena also had an arm yeah, wrestling scrap in 2008 too. and it got uploaded to YouTube, it also got 135 million views. So this just says to me that we need more of it on Raw. So if you are listening, Triple H, <laughs> thank you, please. Also, no, we don't need more of this. No, we don't. I do remember this. This this was a thing too. Oh, Mr. Game, you did that bodybuilding pose down thing and majig with Scott Steiner. It be we should do that again too. Number five, the 2016 Men's Survivor Series match. 158 mm -hmm. million views is nothing to sniff at. Yeah. I have no idea why this got the traction it did. You tell me. I this suppose was... people just really wanted to see Team SmackDown or Shane. This was actually pretty good. This was a good Survivor Series McMahon, match. McMahon, AJ Styles, Dean Ambrose, Randy Orton, and Bray Wyatt take on Team Raw, which was Roman Reigns, Seth Rollins, Braun Strowman, Chris Jericho, and Kevin Owen. Poor Shane got so wrecked yeah. in this too because he suffered a concussion after a spear and had to be taken out of the thing. Mm. And before that, Jericho has told the story how McMahon had been potatoing him. Mm -hmm. It's all going off. Otherwise, it is just your usual Survivor Series this contest as WWE went all in with this Raw versus SmackDown stuff. And it's all right, I suppose. The red brand versus blue brand stuff is always stupid, because WWE never really got into it until like a week beforehand. It is just more proof that people love watching these, though, which is actually the reason the company probably kept doing them. So we're Press all idiots. Before the 2017 Men's Raw Rumble. With 160 million views, I would presume Ooh. the fans just love the idea they could watch this for free. The Raw Rumble is a pretty damn big deal. In terms of facts, it is the last pay-per-view with only one Rumble as women would be added the next year. You also get a stare down between Goldberg and uh -huh. The Undertaker, which would be followed up two years later. And Randy Orton wins it. Good for him. Why the 2017 version is so big, I don't know, because no other entry does come close. Although I do have a theory, and we've already talked about it. Big dudes. Yep. Because <laughs> in the thumbnail is Braun Strowman and the Big Show throwing each other out of the ring. So let us never forget this. The dream isn't dead and people love meat. In terms of the rumble <laughs> itself, it's actually okay. And actually after this, they would have got a lot better. Uh -huh. Maybe we need to get that word out. Number three, the six man tribute to the troops tag match. This goes back oh. to the 20th of December 2008. And ever since it was uploaded, it has done 166 Ooh. million views. Damn. This must have come down to star power because look at the lineup. John Cena, Batista, and Rey Mysterio versus Randy Orton, Chris Jericho, and The Big Show. That's basically WWE's front line from 14 years ago. Mm -hmm. There also must have been some word of mouth to this as it's essentially a house show. So these guys are just having all of the fun. They don't care in the best possible way. They just want to have a good old entertainment time. It's also fun to watch as it is unique with the army as the crowd. Mm -hmm. Man, do they ever go nuts. In terms of some of the noises Raw was getting at the time, it means this is an absolute treat. And also suppose there's something to the fact that fans never thought they'd be able to see anything like this. As soon as they knew they could, well, they went and did it. Number two, team. I can see why they made so many views. Just, a, it, just that atmosphere and the wholesomeness of it. I can definitely see why a lot of people tuned in to check that out on YouTube. Authority versus Team Cena mm. at the 2014 Survivor Series, and this one is easy. 179 mm. people wanted to see the WWE debut of Sting. Sting. Yep, I get it. Say so what you want about the Authority angle too, but it clearly had some. This was a really good Survivor Series match too, by the way. Drawing power, but it certainly sat in the background as the icon finally arrived in WWE. This wasn't uploaded until 2019 either, meaning some people must have watched it to relive the moment. Yep, and others were probably interested in ensuring this was logged in there brain that is the right decision if you are a fan you need to go and see it the stand now with triple h2 so is just the best even if it does go on for an odd amount of time and here's the only piece of advice i have for you do not go and watch their wrestlemania match yeah just just <sighs> 
just don't watch it. Just pretend it didn't even happen. Like, just, yeah, it never happened. You will just be annoyed. Number one, John Cena and The Rock versus The Awesome Truth. 225 mm, million views. Wow. We talk about a leap. There is so much to this, though, as it was The Rock's first match back since 2004. Plus, he was teaming with John Cena. Not only was he the man of the hour, but he and the Great One were embroiled in a rivalry. Mm -hmm. However, could they coexist? Miz and R-Truth make the fine cannon fodder, too. Plus, in 2024, it's a nice reminder about their staying power. Yeah. Until June of that year, they were the tag team champions. It really is just a vehicle to get the Rock some reps in, though, which did make sense, because look at the fallout. People were super duper pumped. Just as we're here, too, do not forget we are talking about matches here. So in case you do need to know for your brain, in terms of YouTube itself, Randy Orton handcuffing Triple H and then assaulting Stephanie McMahon <laughs> is still the real number one. That's, considering that that's fucking wild, bro. 317 million views. I don't care what nobody say. Rogue Randy Orton was just a fucking menace. <laughs> now, for the last few days, the less said about it, the better. Are there any other moments that you'd love to see WWE smash out that on YouTube? Crazy, then make man. sure you let me know in the comments below before you... This was a good one, bro. This was definitely a good one, man. <laughs> Ball-headed Randy. Definitely <laughs> bringing in the views for YouTube, man. Comment down below. Let me know some other videos y'all want me to check out on the channel. Appreciate y'all kicking it with me. See y'all in the next one. Peace.